so you're about to see right is the map okay so where the map called Qinghai, why is it i chosen here now when we talk about ancient civilizations okay most of the people actually just uh, would just uh, think about straight away to egypt why because egypt has a lot of pyramids and we all know now today <laughs> the egyptian could not have the technology to build it even today as what we can all watching all the youtube documentary isn't it even america with uh, such an advanced technology even uh, a, a team of america trying to use all the technology they couldn't even build a small scale of pyramid so that means we all know that who built all this pyramid but that obviously they then represent ancient culture but in china actually there are loads of pyramid now we have all found out now so it's all over the world in peru as well so that's why we are not the only life form we are not the only light living energy around there must be higher beings and that's why a lot of missing we are not the only life form we are not the only light living energy around there must be higher beings and that's why a lot of misinterpretation of these you know other life form as gods and spirits and things right so that's why we can look at it from that point of view that we know that energy work has nothing to do with this uh, earth so i say earthly ceremonial symbols right is is a cosmic energy is actually you know the shall we say is metaphysics okay now you can see all the square block here this is an aerial shot right of the chinese pyramid so a group of them as well then that is from the map Qinghai. that's the area so maybe later on i, I wouldn't mind going back to, to do a a research so if anybody want to join me and uh, i'll let you know so you can join me to go into china to do some more research on this now uh, right this, this is one of them and uh, apparently it is much much bigger than the egyptian one and one of them they call the white pyramid like the uh, the material they use is all white it's not a marble it's some kind of, it's either between like a chalk but it's not a chalk they, they still find out there's still still a lot of research have been done and this top this one is supposed to be 10 times bigger than the one in you know egypt so there's a lot of you know strange thing now you know happening because china is central government spent a lot of money in the archaeological digging so a lot of thing has been discovered so that's why we have to go into who are we because these are the life force which are affecting us our life because we are living can we use utilize this life force if we can connect them to boost our life force so if we're ill we can have, have self healing ability right and then we have health promotion and then obviously we can have long life longevity so this study in china has been for thousands of thousands of years okay yeah and uh, now obviously the the latest term they use is internal Taoist medicine okay Okay, now this is one of the archaeological digging the uh, the scientists. That's what we found. Some of them in the uh, around surrounding the the pyramid in, in inside some of the pyramid, and uh, there's stone, but we don't know where it come from and we don't know what it is. Now this is it. You can see it. It's just like a a, a disc, right? Like like a computer disc. So there, we have found a lot of stuff. There, I think they they they're not re, they're not really uh, shall we say, open up the data yet because there's still a lot of data they have they have to confirm. But uh, we, we sometimes you know we we have just have to wait. Okay. And these are the pattern and things you know we found. Next one, please. Now this one, if you look down on the bottom part, the character. These are they, they call it the all the all the lines. That's why it's even on our pictogram, these are the uh, oracle bones things. So slowly they try to. They, these are the encryptions. So that's why we we're talking about the encryption, you know now. So but I have to 
gives you some evidence because you know obviously as a research fellows we cannot just talk about things without having done the homework and that is part of my homework in my, my PhD 17 years ago. Now also uh, this is coming from my book now so I extract some of my book so it, later on if you want to buy one uh, we can send it to you maybe hopefully next year when I get back to Hong Kong. We've also found these we don't know where, where, where they come from, right? It's just lines and circles and things like that. So, uh, and the legend said that always because there was so far back, it's all legends, isn't it? That uh, someone, uh, someone, someone saw, saw a horse, uh, a seahorse or sea turtle or river turtle coming out from the bottom of the river or coming out from the bottom of the, of the ocean and uh, the back of the turtle have all this encryption. And that was the supposed to be <laughs> the uh, legends. And uh, sadly, he's still teaching. He's still teaching in, 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 in China. So that's why at one time I, I met up with one of uh, uh, a Taiwanese professor. Because when I was talking about it, I said, look, this person supposed to founded this stuff. He did not inventing it, he discovered it. The, I, I said to, you know, in the class, I said, these, this, these things are not Chinese culture. culture. And that really upset the professor. So we have some exchanges <laughs> of discussion, not argument, discussion, right? And then I said, so look, when I track down, that's why I wonder of who was this guy is supposed to be, if there was supposed to be, this guy, who was he? When, when did when did he walk around on 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 the on the uh, the land of China? Basically, you see, all look look all this, yeah. It looks like the uh, the galaxy. Okay, so if we can locate it, right? These galaxy, right? Yeah. So maybe we can find out who we are and where did we come from? Okay, yeah. So obviously we're not the only on. only uh, life form in on the multiple universe, isn't it? True, yeah. So next week, picture, please. Um, this uh, professor, uh, Professor Jia, yeah. he was uh, actually give me a lot of the inspiration because when I look at the, uh, oh, he, he's from the Beijing anthropology, he's an anthropologist, yeah, okay. So when he was, uh, uh, I took a lot of these, uh, uh, of his research from his book. You can see on top of the table, you can see all these stone, okay. And these stones, they actually give me an idea, right, yeah. Uh, how I'm going to proceed to try to find out this 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 legendary figures. Now in China there are supposedly five legendary figures. Okay, yeah, five leg five legendary figures which found our civilization. So this person is very very important because it's relating to our Taoist medicines, the evolution of it. Okay, yeah, and um, the scientists had found this stone ball. Artificial make they made by human hand, not natural, and the, the carbon fourteen because it was scraping all the stuff, you know, uh, some animal blood, right? In you know, in in on surfaces, and carbon fourteen testified it was six hundred thousand years in China, and that time there is uh, a, a tribe, a tribe, yeah, because they forget we Chinese have fifty six different tribes, and it's called Kehe. Culture, okay, they call it culture. All right, yeah. Kerher is a river name. So this group of, now 600,000 years is, is homo, homo erectus. We're not even homo sapiens yet. We're not even homo sapiens. Homo sapiens start about 100,000 years ago. And we are half human and half apes. Okay, yeah. So we're just very primitive, very, very primitive that time. In, uh, so in uh, next picture. Uh, Professor Jar's book, these are extract from his book. So we are talking about now that gave me the, the stone ball gave me uh, uh, inspiration. So when I was doing one chapter on, on the on my that the, uh, PhD, um, the chapter is called The Story of the Rope. And I, I, I explained to you why I call it the rope, right? Because 
this gave me the inspiration of to track down this person is that group rope now you can see right these these stones ball either you can kill the animal or you trap them now because this person from all the ancient literatures registered that he was the founder he actually was the founder of um our cattle reeling he you know he he you know he actually taught us to reel cattle now this is very important because from from my dissertation i i stress that um when if we were primitive the nomadic tribe yes you can go to any any hill okay and we can uh hunt down all the all, all the animals right for food and things okay yeah so like a hunter but because after a while the, all, all the animal in the area has been hunted down so you have no food so you have to move so that's why the nomadic people the civilization of nomadic people because you have to move from one place to another place another place another place so they cannot settle down so they would be very limited in the civilization the developments isn't it yeah so that means the the changing period that from a nomadic uh shall we say tribe to a stable civilization and that period is is very important so that's why i tracked down this guy and this guy in all the ancient um fushi shi is called right in all the ancient record talking about him he was the founder of cattle reeling so that mean right he was able to capture wild animals without killing them so we uh, they would be able to uh, domesticate these wild animal okay yeah so by the time that mean we can control our food su supply su supplies yeah so it is not a person it's a tribe keha culture next picture please so you can see the uh, professor jars the book right so these stone balls was made by human hands so not a natural uh, wash ashore by uh, by the river or the oceans right so next five minutes now to sustain my claim i also done some homework on these are uh, cave uh, and um and grip uh, not encryption but you can say that the chisel out of the uh, the cave right yeah so you can actually see this one this one is uh, in mongolia in mongolia all right on the yellow bit you can see that was actually a net that's very very important because the ancient quoted this tribe they have the intelligence of making a piece of string that's why i call it story of the rope and the rope put together and form form what form a net and when you have the net that mean you can actually capture the animal alive so if you have a wild bull, you know, you try to capture it alive without, you know, kept, you know, what with your bare hand, you'll be dead, isn't it? So that means in the ancient was talking about this tribe was have the intelligence to creating, you know, the net, invented the net. And that gave me the idea as the net is made up from all the different uh, ropes or, or strings. Okay. Term, yeah. And then you so, can see um, the the you can see all the, all the rope and uh, herds and herds of animal. That means it representing the cows, buffaloes. You know, wild buffalo now have been domesticated. So these are cattle reeling culture. So that means that tribe in the Chinese ancient tribe, six hundred thousand years ago, we already have you know, the ability to domesticate and capture wild animal and domesticating it why is it so important now i come up to it important the point in a minute so i just try to link up all the pieces okay next picture please now there's another another uh cave right with all, all the en uh, engraving so you can see all the stone the round objects on the floor right and all all this Okay, now this also uh, cave inscription of Ka Yuan of Yuannan in Yuannan province. So different provinces, we found similar stuff in another cave. But like I said uh, later on, uh, that will be in my book anyway. You can see it all. 
So now, uh, also, I try to put another angle sustaining that the rope is very important, you know, in the previous uh, civilization, you know, very primitive. And we actually, we're using rope to make uh, languages. Now, so on the third row, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So archaeological, uh, the, or the archaeological digging, although the rope will not last for that long, but they they using the uh, all the engraving in the cave and all the cliff things and and then also don't forget we have uh, the bone or oracle bone, the ancient Chinese languages, and then they put the pieces together, and then before any before any writing was actually uh, equipment was used, we're using rope to make notes, knots to to register daily affair. Okay, the languages. Next now question, another angle I have to sustain my claim. Now the this this one I've said it before. There was from the Ma uh, Wong Dui. It's the archaeological digging of the Han Dynasty tomb, right? And then there was the two thousand years old. Uh, dried mummy, okay, yeah, and then the on the right hand side you can see the strips and strips of bamboo strips. So they actually found a lot of scroll of what well, we call it book today, but that time we call it jokgan. Uh, it's the bamboo scroll of bamboo with all the uh, carving, engraving, or sometimes even with uh, painting on it or writing, right? Yeah. Now, so we are talking about the 64 encryption now. The encryption, you can see right at the top on the left-hand side. There's one encryption, so it's called Li Kwa, right out of the six Kwa, right out of the six Pa Kwa, double it, as a 64 Kwa Li Kwa. Now, what, now what, when I was doing the research of into this tomb, they thought they found is, Right underneath the brown, the, the brown, it's not a paper, it's a silk rope. Okay, yeah. We have, so uh, the registration, now I use A, B, C, D. The A, number A, now, yeah. So it is the actual uh, archaeological digging, right, yeah, of the registrations of, uh, of the, the gua, of all these uh, encryptions. So the B, the B, right, you can see this is actually 